Hello students, welcome to our As a Talent. I am your Maths faculty, Arpita Sharma. Students, we are studying class 10 mathematics and in that we have started chapter which is areas related to circle. Right students, so let's begin with writing the name of our chapters. Areas related to, related to what? Circle. Now we have discussed this circle, okay, and this area of circle and perimeter of circle, okay. So, we were doing question and we have solved a question also and we were moving to the next one, right students. So, what was the next question then? This, a wire is looped in the form of a circle of radius 28 centimeter, okay. It is rebuilt into a square form. Determine the length of this side of the square. Now, what I am having? I am having a wire. Suppose this is a wire. Now, what I have done? I have made a circle out of it. So, the length of this wire is, let us suppose, some x. The length of this wire is, let us suppose, x and uh, I just you know bend it and uh, made a proper circle of some radius okay. So I just bend it like this and here I made this circle from this okay. So what is the relation between this line and the circle that this path or this land will be equals to what this length. Okay, this is a wire and this is the uh, form shape by this wire. I have not cut that one. I just bent it into a circle. So, what will be the thing that this is what? This is the periphery or what we call it in our terms, in mathematic term, we call it circumference. So, so this circumference is equals to what? The length of this wire. Now, what I did? I reshaped. I rebent into a square form. Now, again, Again, what I did, I just unbent it like this and made a square. From the same, so what does that mean? That this x is basically what equals to the circumference of the circle and should also be equal to perimeter or periphery of square because we have used this same wire ok. Now it is saying to determine the length of the side of the squares. Now it is saying that what is the length of this? If uh, let us suppose this is we will call it D so let us uh, let us call it A. So if it is square, all side will be equal. So, what is the value of this A? Now, we have given what? The wire loop in the form of a circle of radius 28. Now, the radius is given. So, what is given is this 28 centimeter radius. So, we have to use the 20, uh, 28 centimeter radius to find this periphery or circumference. By finding the circumference, what we have to, uh, what will be knowing? The length of this, what? The length of this, say wire and if the length of this wire is uh, known, then this is equal to the periphery of square. So, we can relate uh, like that in uh, this case, okay. So, what I am going to do, I am going to solve it here students. I am parting, I am just parting it, okay. So, we are going to solve our question here, right there, okay. Given, given is what? Radius, that is radius of circle equals to 28 centimeter. Okay, now, not area, that is perimeter or circumference, circumference of circle will be equals to what? 
perimeter of square let let this uh, the radius b r and sides of square b sides of square equals to what let's suppose it equals to d okay students so the radius b r and the side of square equals to d now perimeter or we can write uh, say here circumference circumference equals to what student you know this this will be always equals to 2 pi r ok so 2 pi r now r is given so I can write it equation 1 ok so by putting the values ok I have told you that, that unless otherwise specified or if you are provided with the value of pi you will be taking the, the value of pi equals to 22 by 7 only if you are given some value of pi let assume this value pi uh, value of pi is this then you have to take that value but if you are not given if you are not provided you have to take the value of pi as 22 by 7 ok so that will be 22 by 7 multiplied by r r is 28 centimeter right there ok so it will be cut by 4 now that will be what 4 to the 8 and 8 multiply by 2 and 2 that will be 16 1 176 what centimeter square why centimeter square sorry it is centimeter why centimeter because the radius is sent in centimeter here ok and pi is having no unit and this is 2 ok so now this now by equation 1 and 2 now this is the circumference I have found 176 the circumference of circle that is equal to pi meter square ok this implies that 176 centimeter equals to nothing but what perimeter of square now what is perimeter of square student say uh, look here this is a this will be a this will be again a and this will be again a so the perimeter will be a plus a plus a plus a simply 4a ok so if I am having size of square I have assumed d here so correct it here I have assumed it uh, a and d here so it is quite contradictory so I will be writing a also here so perimeter square will be uh, will become what 176 centimeter equals to what 4a I have told you how so value of a will be equals to what 176 by 4 centimeter is not it and that will be what 4 times and 4 times again so 44 centimeter will be the side of the square and that will be your final answer students 44 centimeter square ok so the length of the square will be 44 centimeter ok students note this question so that we can move to the next topic of us ok right ok so here is one sector of a circle ok if you have uh, watched my video lecture on circles I have told you with that pizza that if uh, you are at dominoes or at pizza hut or any other uh, pizza mania types thing uh, then you will be, uh, you'll be finding a pizza here and what shape you are snatching that from there that 
that shape you know that well okay that slide for you of pizza is what sector okay so actually basically if this is pizza that will be like a, if you are you are parting with these kind of so if you assume all to be you know merged and the only piece which is out there for you now you can imagine it in a better way okay you are having that pizza uh, you know pizza thoughts in your mind so that particular section is what is sector okay know this now sector of a circle why we are uh, studying it because uh, many a times what we have to find the area of uh, sector we have to find the perimeter of sector for that we have to know that what the sector mean that it's a, it's an it's an area consisting by two radius two radius that is center o and one radius is let's suppose a and one radius is let's suppose b and the these two radius are subtending some angle and this angle will be known as theta so this particular segment will be known as sector basically there are two sector this sector and if you look carefully the remaining the remaining portion is also subtended by two what radius and the complete angle theta so it's also being the definition of our sector so what does that mean students does that does that mean that we are having two sectors now this will be minor sector and this will be major sector okay getting my point we are having two sides so we'll be getting two portions this and that here now this portion will be is minor na this is minor this is less so we'll call it minor segment and we'll call that major segment okay so minor segment a sector of a circle is called minor sector if the minor arc of the circle is a part of its boundary this boundary ab if you consider a shorter way this ab is what shorter arc so if you consider this short arc the short arc then this will be what your minor sector and then major sector the sector of a circle is called major sector if the major arc of the circle is a part of its boundary now in this case the boundary is this the major boundary okay now this complete other than that is what is major sector doesn't it look like a pokemon okay let's move some important points to remember about sector okay so i have told you that uh, minor sector is having an angle theta okay so if minor sector is angle theta if this is point o and this is a and this is point b okay students so this is the point i am not talking about the length right a point that's like it's b point so if i am talking about this is angle theta what will it be it will be 360 minus theta it's so obvious okay so because the complete angle will be 360 okay this is the same method will be uh, going to uh, have the area of the sector and the perimeter of the sector we are just fit okay so a minor sector has an angle theta the sector is minor okay subtend at the center of the circle where the major sector has no angle it's having no angle but if we find out we can uh, find in term of theta that with it will be what obviously 360 minus theta the sum of the areas sorry the sum of the arcs arc is what in this case this a to b small path and uh, small path and a to b large path so the arc major arc is this one and minor arc is this one okay so major arc and minor arc sectors of a circle is equals to what this equals to this will be what equals to circumference of circle right okay so that will be equals to circumference of the circle the sum of the areas the sum of the areas of minor and major sector now if i am having complete this area and then i am having complete this area so actually i am covering the complete area of circle na so if you are if you are adding the uh, major area major sector area and minor sector area ultimately we will be finding the complete circle area so that will be 
the sum of the areas of major and minor structure of a circle is equals to what the area of the circle okay the boundary of a sector consists of an arc of the circle and the two radii what it will be covering if i am talking about all right they are it's somewhat messy so so if i am talking about this what is having it's having an arc that is ab and it's having this two radius these two radius from the center o so this will be consisting of two radius and one arc if i look it uh, if i talk about what will be uh, happening in the major portion so in the major also i am having this complete arc major arc plus two radius right so perimeter will be what these two radius plus this arc for minor for major that will be these two radius plus this arc isn't it for this for minor you know, the perimeter of this uh, um, what you say this minor sector is what the two radius plus the arc length in the major case what will it be the two radius plus arc length now arc length will uh, definitely differ in minor and major that will be uh, way too smaller than this okay now the boundary of a sector consists of an arc of the circle okay we have covered that point now area of a sector students you know what is the area and what is the circumference of a circle so mind it here pi r square is area of a circle and if you go for perimeter it is 2 pi and r isn't it so it's saying that uh, you're having a circle and um, the circle this center is quite you know little high so consider it like it is a center okay so uh, if the arc subtended at an angle theta at the center then its arc length is pi by 180 sorry theta by 180 multiplied by pi r now how this uh, you know this kind of expression is there so we are having this complete 360 degree and we are talking about only this theta so this is basically what theta i am talking about perimeter students don't confuse it with area i am talking about perimeter so theta theta angle from this complete 360 i am taking theta so this will the proportion and the complete the complete perimeter is what the complete perimeter is what 2 pi r so i, I will be talking about this angle i will be taking about this angle so if i am talking about this angle what angle from this 360 i am taking only theta so from 360 i am only th uh, taking theta so the pro proportion of the circumference will be equals to the complete uh, circumference multiplied by angle now what will uh, it become it become theta pi r by 180 and is it the same thing i have written here is it the same thing so you can do one thing can you you can just you know have this imagination in your mind that how will you uh, gonna basically find this uh, length of arc okay so this length of arc this length of arc how how will you find it we know the complete circumference that is 2 pi r so what will be the uh, what will be the ratio uh, what will be the length of this uh, arc when we are having only angle theta so what i did i just use the ratios here for 360 i am having 2 pi r so how will be uh, i will be getting for theta okay so it's so simple okay students so here i am taking the length i am having the length of this arc ab so what will be the length of arc ab l if i denote this by l how can i find it the complete circumference is what 2 pi r okay the uh, complete circumference is what 2 pi r okay and 2 pi r of what 360 by 360 degree 360 by 360 degree but i am having only theta here so what will i do i am ha having only the portion of theta from 360 i am only having theta so from 2 pi r what will uh, what length will uh, will be i am having theta by 360 multiplied by 2 pi r isn't it so what will i get this 2 will uh, cancel out uh, cancel out this by 180 degree so that will be pi r theta multi uh, divided by 
180 degree. Now this is what? This is the length of arc student. So we will use this length of arc in what? In our perimeter. So this is about the length of arc first. Now second thing, uh, we are going to talk about the what? Um, the length of arc is there. Now it is given. Okay, so have we have talked about this now. Okay, now going to the next thing here. So I am just rubbing this. Okay, so length of arc I have told you how to find it. Now um, area of the sector, right? Now how you find the area? You are having your area equals to pi r square. For the complete 360, you are having this. So from 360, you are having only theta angle. So, what will be the area? Theta by 360 multiplied by pi r square. So, here it is pi r square theta by 360. This is equals to what? This is your area. Okay, students. So, this was the length of arc and this is the area. This is length of arc. which arc minor arc whenever i am not mentioning anything that will be minor if i am mentioning major word that that will that no, then that will be major okay now okay students you know that this arc length this arc length is what theta pi r by 180 so, if I am telling you to know, to tell me the uh, periphery of this minor arc, then what will it be? This will be the length of arc L plus D. D is what? 2 R or you can write it theta pi R by 180 plus 2 R. You can write it like this only. Okay, students. So, if you have ever asked about the uh, periphery of this minor segment, then you can easily answer them. Okay, right. Now, some useful result to remember. This you have to remember. What? Angle subtended by minutes band. Sorry. Angle subscribed by minute hand. Okay. In 60 minutes. Here you are having a watch. We will be having some interesting questions of this, of watch here. Okay. So this is a watch. So we are having a 9 here, what, sorry, um, 3 here, 2 here, 4 here, 5 here, 6 here, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11 and 12. Okay, so this is our watch. Now it is saying the angle subscribed by minute hand in 60 minutes. So, this if this is minute hand, okay. So, after 3, after what it is saying? 60 minute. 60 minute equals to what? 1 hour. In 1 hour it will come back to its original position. So, what is this angle? This angle will be what? 360 degree. So, the angle subscribed by minute hand in 60 minutes equals to 360 degree. Now, angle subscribed by minute hand in 1 minute, in 1 minute. So, 1 minute that means here, okay. Now, this block is having what? This block is having what? Some dividation. Okay, so these are 5, that will be 5 again, 5 again, 5 again, 5 again, 5, 5, 5. So that will be 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. Okay, students. So 12s are, 12 fives are here. Now, it's substanding what? One minute hand in one minute. Okay, so this is complete. 
This is complete 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, this is complete 12 and 5. That will be 60. That will be 60. So, complete 60 compartment there. 60 compartments. Okay. If you will count these lines, that will be 60 divisions. So, 60 divisions out of and the complete circle is of what? 360 degree. 360 degree. Okay. And if you go from 1, that will be like this. So, this will tell you that 6 degree in 1 minute. Now, if it is having 6 degree in 1 minute, so total compartments is what? 60 degree. So, it will be having what? 360 degree rotation in 1 circle of 1 hour. Okay, so remember this, this is completely by your watch. Okay. Okay, students. So, students, to visualize it very clearly, I have, you know, bring this watch for you and sell out. Okay. So, students, if you look at this watch, this watch. What you are saying? This I am rotating this hand, this uh, minute. This min. This is minute hand. Okay. Now, if it's moving sixty minutes. Now, see this will be what your minute hand. Okay. So one hour. That will be again there. Okay, students. So the initial position of this hand will be this. And again, if we I move it again to one hour again. So, what will it become? From here to there, there only in 1 hour, it will give you 1 pm time or 1 am time, whatever time you are watching this video. Okay. So, again that will be what? The 360 degree rotation in 1 minute. Sorry, in 1 hour. Okay. See 360 degree rotation in 1 hour. Okay. So, what I have done? Angle subscribed by a minute hand in 60 minutes. One, one hour is obviously 60 minutes is equals to what? Complete 360. Now, angle subscribed by minute hand in one minute. Now, one minute. If you know, I will put this. Okay. Now, first, second, third, fourth and fifth. Now, students, it is moving five times when coming to from this point to this point. That means there are five compartment in each. 5 compartment in each 12 that means total number of compartment are what? 5 multiplied by 12 that comes to 60. Now, 60 compartment divided by sorry 60 compartment and 60 compartment are basically the uh, basically having 360 degrees. So, 1 compartment equals to what? Obviously, this 360 degree divided by 60 and that will be giving you what? 6 degree. So, is it clear from this watch now that what you are actually doing and when we will doing questions from this, we'll, we can use this also. Okay, so you can visualize it in a better way. So, whenever you are not uh, having that question clear in your mind, you can use your watch or you can like uh, visualize your watch for that thing. Okay, students. So, uh, moving forward on this, angle subscribed by R and in 12 R. Angle subscribed by R and in 12 hours. Now, angle subscribed by 12 R is what? If this is, you know, this is like 12. Okay, this is 12. Now, it is saying after 12 hours. So, after 12 hours, what will, what will it be? It is talking about R and. So, R and is what? R and is that. This one is R and. So, first R that will be this. Second hour that will be this, third hour, fourth hour, fifth hour, sixth hour, seventh hour students, then eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, and twelfth. Okay, so twelfth hour. When twelfth hour, okay, so these two hands will coincide the minute hand and the uh, this uh, this minute hand and this hour end. Okay, so which angle that complete um, R and made 360 degree. 
360 degree for hour hand. Okay, in 12 hour equal to C 60 degree. That means what? It is subscribing this complete 360 degree angle. 360 degree angle in what? 12 hour. So, in 1 hour it will be what? In 1 hour it will be simply 360 by 12. Okay, now it will be giving you 30 degree. You can just calculate it will be 30 only. Okay, so mind this. So, it is very clear. I think now it should be very clear for you guys to understand it. Okay. Okay, students. Now, we will be having some questions over there. So, we will be discussing these questions in our next lecture. Okay, students. Till then, what you have to do? You just look at your clock and imagine what and what question you can give to your friend. Okay. And let us play with that. Okay, students. So, I hope you are enjoying this lecture. So, watch me in the next lecture and we will talk about that. Till then, take care. Bye.